Hey Mercedes R129, quick, quick uh, tip today. Uh, sorry, camera phone. Um, front latch cylinders, the latching mechanism, when your top goes forward or when it locks and unlocks, um, if it grabs and makes a, a cracking noise, um, if it doesn't do it smoothly, you're putting a lot of pressure on your hydraulic cylinders and are probably going to blow a seal. If you have uh, fluid leaking down in your A-pillars or out of your uh, overhead console, you probably have a leak. That is, well, not probably, you do have a leak. One of the front uh, seals is gone. And many of the times, that's what causes it. These things don't latch properly over the years. They've bent and they're just, the, the mechanism's out of whack and it's ridiculously simple to adjust. It's going to start the car because you have more hydraulic pressure when the car's on. So what you're going to do is, uh, when you know, top up, you're going to lower it go through the process of lowering until the roof the front roof unlatches and just pops up the tiniest little bit like so so now you're going to be able to get see there's two screws here they are t30 torque screws you're just going to loosen both of those until your front latch moves around a little tiny bit this is the hole it's going to go into and this is the latch and you want it to line up dead center so how do you line it up dead center? Because you can't really see it when it goes down. So loosen these so that they're, sorry, light. There we go. Uh, loosen them so that they, they're movable, but not like, like not wiggly around, but just slightly uh, uh, movable. Uh, if you put a bit of pressure on them, they can move. So loosen both sides and then lower it slowly, the tiniest little bit. So it's just at that point where it's touching. And now I'm not gonna be able to show you this with both hands because I've got but you're going to grab on both sides the top and pull down. Hold on a second, I'm not all the way forward. Need one tiniest little bit more. There we go. More forward. There's about a finger width in here just before it latches and grabs. And you hear that clicking? That's the point you wanted it, that's the latch like your door catch. That's like the door catch grabbing the little the striker on your door. So now if you pull this up and down on both sides really quick like this, you are going to center that latch pin up there. It's going to end up centered. And then once it's centered, gently lift it and then raise the top. Oh, sorry. Raise is the other way. And tighten it back down without moving the plate. And then you should, 99% of the way, should be there. And it should. Oh. Lock and latch. If while you're doing this, your soft top button starts flashing and doing wonky things, that means it doesn't know what you're doing. It thinks somebody's monkeying around with it, which oddly enough they are. Somebody's screwing around with it, stopping it halfway, moving it up and down. It doesn't know what to do. And if that does happen, all you have to do is turn your car on, take the key out, or off, take the key out, turn the car back on again and everything should be hunky-dory. And it will reset itself and go through the process all over again. And that is about it. Thanks for watching.